Hi. Hi. Hi, good morning everyone. Assalamualaikum. Okay, my name is Ezrin. Okay, we are from the Glamour Mix team. Thank you for coming today to join us. So this morning we are doing uh, around the world punya recipe. Okay, so we are going to uh, Japan, we are going to Middle East, okay, and then we are going to Mexico, and we are also going to Scotland. Okay, so very exciting. We have uh, Zarina who's going to start with um, Mandi lamb rice, and then we are going to Nazraj, we are going to Japan, okay, she's going to do the miso noodle, uh, miso chicken noodle soup, and then we have Viva in Mexico, okay, showing us prawn tacos, and lastly, we have Kat, who's going to show us the cauliflower cheese soup, okay, so she's going to be all in Scotland with the accent and also stay tuned until the end to see all our chefs cook today. Okay, so before uh, further ado, I'm going to pass to Zarina to start the recipe and then I'll come back and show you all the accessories and the functions. Okay, over to you, Zarina. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Okay, so hari ni I'm going to demonstrate macam mana kita masak nasi Arab. Okay, you can uh, either cook chicken, uh, mandi rice ataupun lamb. So hari ni I pilih lamb. Okay, so yeah, let's start. So the first step actually, kita kena prepare the lamb broth. Okay, so uh, one thing I suka pasal thermal mix ni, uh, I suka fungsi dia self-cooking, okay, auto-cooking. So uh, pukul lima setengah pagi tadi, masa nak solat, I buat the uh, broth, okay, using slow cook mode. So I just set the timer to three hours and then I boleh pergi solat and set rest my everything. So I tak payah physically be there. So all I needed was 1200 grams of water, 700 grams of lamb with the boil, uh, 7 garlic cloves smashed and also 3 inch of uh, ginger smashed as well. So put everything inside, set for 3 hours, start the slow cook mode and bangun-bangun je dah siap. Okay, so tu dah siap. So now kita buat nasi pula. Alright, so let's start. So for the nasi, kita akan gunakan 200 gram uh, bawang merah. Okay, so we are going to um, blend this, chop this for 5 seconds, speed 5. Okay, so this is a manual recipe. So all you kena tahu, uh, 3 circle ni je lah. 5 seconds, speed 5. Okay, so now kita just scrape down everything. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys after 5 seconds. Alright, so your thermomix actually menggantikan you punya knife and chopping board lah. So you just dump everything, it will chop for you. Okay, how convenient kan? So then now kita akan masukkan 150 grams of uh, ghee. Alright, so I gunakan ghee. Okay, and then we add in all the spices lepas ni. Okay, so now kita masukkan daun pandan empat helai. Okay, four daun pandan and then four cinnamon sticks. Just add everything inside. Seven cardamom pods and then ada uh, this bunga lawang tujuh. And sepuluh bunga cengkeh. Okay, so masukkan everything. Alright, and kita nak uh, masukkan sekali 15 grams of this Arabian uh, spice mix ni. Uh, this one pun kita boleh buat sendiri, alright. You just need the uh, bahan-bahan and se uh, pantas satu minit, you can already make your own uh, spice lah, Arabian spice ni. So, masukkan sahaja and kita nak tumis for 4 minutes, 120 degrees, reverse speed 1, okay. So, 4 minutes. 120 degrees reverse ya. Yeah. Kita kena enable the reverse mode speed 1. Okay, so now dia tengah menumis, alright? So lepas ni, we will actually uh, masukkan, okay, uh, kita kan to do the broth, we have to um, slow cook 700 grams of the punya lamb tadi. So kejap lagi kita akan masukkan daging tu together with salt. Saute for 3 minutes. 
and then kita akan baru kita akan masukkan the broth okay i have the broth here um, panaskan again i'll cook for another three minutes and then we put the rice okay and then we will to be i can gunakan rice cooker mode all right so uh, very easy so uh, one of the things that i suka pasal thermomix ni is that tengok sekarang ni i free sangat kan so memang auto cooking it, you there's no monitoring or stirring needed so time macam ni four minutes ni i can do other things so for working moms perfect lah you know uh, reply emails ke you want to make a call ke uh, you know and for moms yang you know have baby so sangat sangat convenient for you to cook actually using the thermomix ni okay so you tak is totally hands free you just tinggal je all you have to do is just set the time kan all right so uh, selain daripada tu what i really like about the thermomix is that uh, kita boleh enjoy the best of both worlds okay so kita boleh do low temperature cooking and high temperature cooking uh, so kalau kita buat conventional way ni it's very difficult for you to control uh, the temperature okay and usually it uses very high uh, apa your oil semua akan overheated all right so now bila you boleh control suhu dekat thermomix ni so you boleh uh, masaklah your you can preserve the nutrients in your veggies okay so for low temperature cooking we usually masak at 120 darjah celsius lah okay so kalau you tengok kita punya veggies they are very vibrant in color you can see it's really hijau really green so that means you know that the nutrients and vitamins are still intact to the uh, vegetables okay so macam mana pula kalau kita nak masak something yang mengeluarkan flavor daripada daging Ha, that's why the mummies pada yang uh, pada masa yang sama boleh uh, buat high temperature cooking. So we have a lot of recipes such as salted prawns, salted mushrooms, banyaklah um, beef ke uh, semua menggunakan uh, high temperature, high temp mode, alright. And these recipes can only uh, be accessed dekat cookie dough, okay, for uh, safety uh, purposes. So dia tak boleh buat manually lah, okay. So you kena pergi kat cookie dough recipes to do it. So best lah kita boleh buat something kalau kita nak beef kita tu extra flavor, we can do high temp. And kalau kita nak macam buat sayur and tak nak overcook, you want just perfectly cooked vegetables, not too soft, you know, tak overcook and crunchy, sedap, manis, dia pun preserve. Um, now you can use your thermomix with uh, low temperature cooking. Okay, so macam tadi, eh, your thermomix also um, replaces your a chopping board and your knife so convenient lah it's actually you're investing in technology okay where 120 engineers collaborate together in building us this super kitchen machine okay it's your kitchen assistant okay so to memudahkan kerja kita dekat dapur all right uh, so and then did you know that actually uh, masak bila kita masak kita guna oil tu it's not good to consume all that is uh, overly heated okay yang yang menggunakan suhu yang tinggi untuk masak masakan kita okay so especially bila kita guna olive oil but now when kita dah boleh control suhu kat sini so kita tak perlu lagi risau dan tak perlu lagi takut kita bagi family kita makan lah benda yang uh, toxic you know? okay so memang no cooking fumes as well cooking with this so what you actually see here is actually vapor okay so bila kita menyambal ke apa uh, tak perlu risau bau sambal belacan uh, kalau you tengok sekarang, I tengah masak outdoor kan. So, this thermomix is the smallest kitchen machine. It's so brilliant. You can travel anywhere with it. You can cook anywhere. Dalam bilik tidur ke, dekat dining ke, dekat living ke, anywhere. And you will not have the bau tu takkan melekat. Sebab it's just vapor, okay? So, it's not cooking fumes, alright. So, now dah siap tumis. Okay, so kita akan masukkan tadi the lamb yang kita dah slow cook tadi okay and we are going to add in one teaspoon of salt okay and kita akan masak dia lagi untuk tiga minit alright so three minutes 100 degrees 100 darjah celsius and reverse spoon okay so ingat uh, kena ingatlah because kita dah masukkan the daging you have to enable the reverse mode okay so that's actually using the blunt side of your blade okay so kita gunakan yang blade yang kumpul all right okay so that's about um, the low temperature cooking as i'm balik low temp and high temp cooking okay so giving um i mean of course kita nak Sayanglah kalau kita beli organic vegetables and then 
you tak tahu kan kita masak dekat kuali usually is about 200 darjah celsius ya the, the suhu and kita tak tahu kadang-kadang kadang could be more okay or less uh, but now kat sini macam mana kita tahu that kita masak dekat the right temperature atau pada suhu yang uh, rendah is because dia tunjuk dekat screen ni okay uh, at what um, temperature you're cooking your vegetables atau your dishes so that's really amazing kan so tu yang kita nak okay so moving on Alright, so bila kita boleh control suhu, of course, automatically uh, you have perfect texture all the time. The consistency tu you akan uh, dapat sama je, alright. And Thermomix ni ada um, uh, a recipe library, okay. When you buy your machine, you get, uh, you have access to over 75,000 recipes, okay. And it doesn't stop there, so it only gets better, okay. So you invest satu kali. Tapi you akan get more and more cooking functions and more cooking uh, recipe collection, okay, dalam your machine ni. All you have to do is update your uh, software, okay, sama macam smartphones kita. From time to time, kita akan uh, buat update so you have more features kan, okay, so sama je. So just a quick one, we can also uh, do a four layer cooking, so sangat menjimat masa, okay. So um, basically Thermomix ni apa yang I suka is that you perlukan ni je dalam you punya dapur, okay? So, uh, kita kena tanya lah ourselves. Do you want a kitchen with that, uh, 20 other appliances atau 10 kitchen appliances lain? Ataupun you just not one that can do everything, okay? So, of course, kita nak dapur yang kemas, nampak cantik, tak adalah everything stack here and there, kan? So, with the Thermomix, uh, you can prepare your um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, tea time, everything from cakes, yogurt, kaya, semua menggunakan just this one machine, okay? And you don't have, the best part is you don't even have to hafal the recipes, you don't even have to um, apa, refer to your handphone, YouTube ke apa, sebab dah ada 6.8 touchscreen, uh, beautiful touchscreen display here, okay? So you dah macam boleh just search for the recipe, okay, in your cookie dough account. So, um, Lepas takat dia bagi resepi saja dia juga uh, akan provide you with the guided step by step instructions, okay? So, the cookie do 1.0 just ada instructions, okay? Yang best yang tadi saya cakap tu, uh, bila update to 2.0, dia keluarkan uh, guided step by step videos pula, okay? So, for people who don't have knowledge in baking ke, atau cooking ke, especially baking ke dalam roti, you tak tahu macam mana nak shape your pavlova ke apa. So, dia akan ada video, you play, and it will actually guide you, okay? You can watch the video. How awesome, kan? Okay, so I can really smell the spices and all smells really good. Okay, so now I have the broth here. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a little stir, okay? Sebab kita nak um, the bawah-bawah tu semua tu be spicy, kan? So kita masukkan je the broth. Okay, so this is 950 grams of uh, lamb broth. Okay, and then kita akan masakkan dia lagi untuk um, 3 minit. Hundred twenty degrees. Reverse spoon again. Okay. Alright. So, um, alright. So, moving on. Uh, the cookie dough, uh, sorry, the Thermomix ada access to 75,000 recipe study dengan guided videos. Okay, so sekarang you boleh shape your pavlova, roti, semua dia ada. Ha, and then now recently, we just only updated our software again and guess what? Kita ada a new uh, cooking mode which is the pillar mode. Okay, so pillar mode ni boleh buat apa pula? Kita boleh kupas kulit, dia boleh help kupaskan kulit kentang, halia, sweet potatoes, uh, carrots. So isn't that wonderful? Kita, I mean memudahkan kerja kita lah. Actually sebenarnya for me, I don't like the prepping part. Okay, so masak tu uh, okay. Alright, the prepping and the aftermath tu, like cleaning after that tu yang macam leceh sikit kan. Especially bila kita menyambal. Alright, so dengan teman mix ni insyaAllah your dapur akan sediasa bersih lah. The splattering tu tak ada sebab kita dah tutup macam ni. So very convenient. Okay, so I'm gonna explain a bit about the kettle mode. So um, getting the right temperature is very important and and this is not just like the normal kettle lah. Normal kettle kita tak boleh control suhu. Uh, di mana dia akan stop bila dia reaches 100 degrees kan baru dia pakai uh, the water. But with the Thermomix ni, 
uh, you boleh control suhu sekarang. So, um, and did you know that um, your tea and coffee are not necessarily uh, best taken at 75 uh, degrees, okay, for tea. Uh, sorry, not necessarily best taken at 100 darjah Celsius, okay. So, sebenarnya untuk you punya green tea, yang bestnya suhu yang tepat ialah 75 darjah Celsius. Dan untuk you punya coffee is 95 darjah Celsius. So, that it doesn't, you know, it will boil your tea, it doesn't burn your tongue and bila minum tu just nice saja, okay. So, perfect bila kita dapat uh, control suhu, okay. And sekarang you can also um, do your baby food, okay. Set the temperature at 37 uh, darjah Celsius. Okay, and you dah tak payah blow, 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 and you know, you can straight away just give your baby the food, okay. Um, yeah, and we have a lot of other modes here. So, kita ada built-in weighing scale. So, the Thermomix has its own built-in weighing scale, making it really convenient for everybody. Especially, kalau you tak nak pre-measure, you just uh, just uh, weigh as you bake lah, okay. So, dia akan tunjuk kat situ gambar penimbang berat tu. So, you just uh, tuang your ingredients and it will show how many grams you've added into the mixing bowl, alright. So we also have dome mode. So memang best lah, is your thermomix actually just your blender? No, okay, it's your blender, you can blend. Lepas tu yang best ya, you boleh terus masak kat dalam ni, okay. Just add your minyak, macam tadi I buat, kita tumis pula. Okay, and then uh, lepas ni kita just, it, it, it becomes your rice cooker pula, okay. Lepas ni I akan masukkan the beras and it will be your rice cooker, masak nasi arab ni, dalam ni juga. So end of the day, kita menggunakan just this one kitchen, Machine, okay. So, tak banyak benda you nak kemas later and convenient lah. Okay, so now dah siap. Dia dah panaskan the broth, alright. So, all I have to do is actually just put in 500 grams. Okay, I guna pusa king basmati rice, okay. So, kita masukkan aja 500 grams of uh, beras ni. Okay, dah rinse lah. I dah rinse everything. Okay, and masak nasi guna simmering basket ni pun sangat-sangat best. Okay, you will not ada pembaziran lah. Dia tak ada kerak-kerak. So, actually memang sangat best. And it's a low GI rice. So, very good for those who are watching, I mean, on a diet atau ada diabetes ke apa kan. So, memang sangat-sangat um, best. Sebab dia akan buang kanji-kanji daripada beras tu. Okay. Alright. So, then now, um, the final step is we are going to add one and a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna give it a stir sikit. Okay, so now push everything in and I'm gonna start the rice cooker mode, okay? So awesome sangat. Tadi kita blend, lepas kita tumis and then now kita call up the rice cooker function ni. Alright, tekan aja. So kita just start dia yang automatically akan set the time. Okay, so I have to cook with the MC cup on, alright? Okay, so senang kan? Effortless sangat. Well, masak-masak, I can talk to you guys, chit chat with you guys about TM6, okay? Uh, okay, so I sambung a little bit more. So we have a lot of other um, functions, okay? So kita ada turbo mode, so you can make your lemonade or orange juice, your juices as fast as 6 seconds, okay? Enam saat sahaja dah boleh buat lemonade and it's really delicious and refreshing. Okay, so we have pre-clean mode. Ah, ni best sangat kan. So lepas kita dah buat kita punya baking especially, kita macam uh, if you if you want to like you know senang nak clean up, nak clean your bowl ni, you just clean, I mean you just uh, buat pre-clean mode ni and dia akan loosen up your dough bits, okay, atau kerak-kerak daripada masakan you tu. Uh, how it works is that just uh, fill up water, start half of the baking bowl, and then you just start. You can choose now whether it's universal, ke, browning, ke, caramelizing, ke. it will detect how much it needs to be cleaned, and then they can clean your uh, mixing bowl. Okay, especially if you want like that uh, dalgona candy or the honey foam, memang they can stick to your mixing bowl. But with the pre clean mode, sangat effortless. Okay, senang sangat nak kemas, nak clean. Okay. So we have the kettle, blender mode, slow cook mode, so easy, so best about you can just leave it and go to sleep even if you make your soup tulang pun, leave it for 8 hours, esok pagi bangun dah siap. Alright, and you also have to wait. Okay, I'll go into that later. Alright, so uh, another mode is that it's also, um, you, it has fermentation mode so you can actually ferment your yogurt and cheese up to 12 hours, okay? 12 hours, so how awesome can? Uh, it's not just a blender, you boleh jadikan it's your yogurt maker, I mean, you can 
recommend it buat your yogurt so usually we buy the starter uh, and buat malam and so that siang tu you dah boleh enjoy your yogurt okay so now you can make your own yogurt and cheese okay how cool is that okay so the next one is um the sous vide mode i really like this one okay so it doesn't dry up all your ingredients uh, so basically this method um sebenarnya it's actually used uh, especially dekat fine dining restaurant so when you go there you actually see that you punya uh, steaks and salmon ke sangat-sangat juicy and tender okay it's because of this cooking method lah sous vide so how they actually cook it is that Dara masukkan dalam a zip lock or vacuum sealed bag okay, they, they marinate everything masukkan and they uh, cook it in uh, apa, low temperature consistent low temperature controlled water lah so kat dalam tu dia akan masak for maybe one hour or one and a half hours depending and then you akan memang dapat really nice and juicy um, meat so if you want it to be a bit crispy on the outside kita sear je dekat the pan maybe for 40 seconds atau one minute uh, on each side okay so memang sangat-sangat best you can even have your sous vide egg so a lot for you to explore okay using your thermomix okay you can buat macam-macam you can make your own uh, chicken stock powder perisa udang you boleh buat your own fruit jams, okay? You can do roti, you boleh meroti. So you can um, do kneading, you can knead your mood. Uh, so you can knead your dough. Uh, Sepantas so 2 minutes saja sudah siap, okay? So for mantau, it's only 2 minutes. For pizza dough, it's only 4, okay? So while this is cooking, I'm going to buat the salsa pula, okay? So sangat-sangat senang. For this, we need four tomatoes. I'm going to do the salsa sauce, the dressing. So um, this one, we need empat tomato, fresh tomatoes. Okay, just masukkan everything, okay. And dua chili, uh, padi, okay, or Thai uh, hot chilies. And then two garlic cloves, 10 grams of daun ketumba, okay, your coriander leaves. And then half teaspoon of sugar. And half teaspoon of salt, okay. And we are going to put seven grams of lemon juice. Uh, sorry, uh, lemon juice. Okay. So now all we have to do is kita just akan uh, blend it for seven seconds and dah siap. Okay. Sorry, um, just a second. Alright, so okay, so uh, for this recipe, um, you are supposed to asingkan uh, two hundred fifty grams of uh, sorry two dua per tiga uh, lamb meat and masukkan dalam broth, okay? Ada tepikan dalam broth ni, okay? And kita akan masukkan dalam oven for uh, twenty minutes pada suhu satu lapan puluh darjah Celsius, okay? So later, I will uh, come back to you on that dish. Uh, sorry, on the final dish. Okay, so now tujuh saat saja and speed tujuh. Okay, and your salsa sauce dah siap. Okay, so I have it there. Okay, later I will show you guys the final dish. That's all from me. Uh, I will pass it to Ezri now. Thank you, Ezri. Okay, thanks, Zarina. Bestnya, I cannot wait to see the final result. And you know, this is her first time doing that recipe. So with Thermomix, it's safe for you to try recipes yang you tak pernah try before. Okay, always akan jadi punya. Okay, so a bit of background about uh, the company, okay. So Thermomix belongs to Forwag, okay. Forwag is a German company. They've been around for more than 135 years. Okay, so and Thermomix are in more than 80 countries around the world. So this product is well known, is well established. Bukan baru launch this year ke last year, okay. It has really good track record and they have won many, many awards. Okay, and so TM6 ni dia generasi yang ke-9. Okay, so uh, Thermomix came to Malaysia 2009, waktu tu TM31. Okay, which still uh, is around, orang still guna and still in good condition. And then we have TM5 and TM6 was launched end of 2019. So it will be around for a while sebab 
This TM6 is uh, the other Wi-Fi connection. So kalau kita ada new function, new updates, it's just like your phone, you just have to update the software and you will get all the new functions. So you pay one price today, but your functions will keep on adding from time to time. Okay, like Zarina cakap tadi, the latest one is the pillar mode. Okay, so we are all waiting for the new blade cover pillar too. So once it arrives, I think early next year, you can start getting your thermomix to peel your potatoes, your carrots, apalah, halia, apa semua boleh. Okay, so while we are chatting here today, once a uh, Thermomix is sold every 23 seconds. Okay, that's how famous Thermomix is. All right, so the accessories that you get with your Thermomix, okay, banyak. when you get it, you will start massage straight away. You don't have to add on other accessories. Okay, so the first one is my most favorite one. It's called Simmering Basket. So I love to eat rice. And if you love to eat rice like me, you should put your rice in your Simmering Basket. Okay, because you, like Zarina cakap tadi, you will get low GI rice. Once you have this masa, you will nampak air kat bawah ni, dia akan bertakung warna putih. Okay, so that's all your kanji that turns to uh, sugar. Okay, so don't throw it away. Macam tu je, you go and uh, siram your pokok. Okay, it's very good for your pokok. Or you can also make soup for your kids. Okay, actually uh, kanji ni is good for kids. Or kalau you tak sihat ke, kalau you ada diarrhea ke, it's actually very good. Okay, so you can use balik that starch water. Okay, uh, other things you can steam your veggies, small portion of veggies in here. Kalau you are a baby, you about baby food, you can also steam your veggies in here. Okay, and it can also uh, be a strainer. So let's say kalau you buat our famous lemonade, once you have habis grind the uh, lemons, you put this inside, and then you can make it into a strainer. Okay, macam tu. So this is the simmering basket, and then we have butterfly. Okay, so butterfly me is for whipping. So kalau you nak buat whipped cream, you nak whip your egg, or you nak buat uh, mashed potatoes, okay, even kaya. And when you cook uh, soft ingredients, fragile punya, uh, like uh, fish fillet ke, or tofu, you can even in, uh, insert this in to protect the ingredients. Okay, so very easy. You just have to slot it on the blade macam tu. Okay, and then nak remove pun, just wiggle wiggle sikit and cabut. That's butterfly, and then we also have this thing called um, splash guard. Okay, so TM6 ni kita ada high temperature mode. Alright, so when you are using a high temperature mode recipe, um, recipe macam you buat ikan bilis goreng, bawang goreng, they will tell you to put the splash guard on. Okay, so you just put the atas ni, is to avoid all splatter. Okay, and then very easy. So you need to know this one is called the splash guard. Okay, and then we also have a spatula. Okay, so this spatula is very special because if you put it on the table, kalau you ada makanan kat sini kan, dia tak akan touch the, dia tak akan touch the surface of the table. Okay, so it's very hygienic lah. Okay, and this spatula is designed perfectly to scrape down the side. Okay, even if you tengah uh, masak ke or you buat ice cream, dia akan suruh put the spatula over the hole ni and mix. So it is meant to do that, okay? There are the stopper kat sini so that this one won't touch the plate, okay? So it's very safe. Kalau you buat ice cream, try it, okay? You mix it while it's like blending. Okay, and it's also for picking up the simmering basket. Okay, so imagine simmering basket ni ada macam hot veggies kat dalam ke, rice ke, so panas kan? So you can use the spatula and ada slot kat um, simmering basket tu, you angkat macam ni, okay? And then you can open it and remove your uh, ingredients kat dalam. Okay, so spatula ni very, very useful, so don't lose it. <laughs> okay, and then we also have this measuring cup. Okay, so it's always sitting on top, tutup kat atas ni unless the recipe says without. Okay, so the panggil um, measuring cups about the 50 ml and 100 ml mark kat dalam ni. Okay, so if you're not confident to pour liquids right into the bowl, you boleh pour dalam sini dulu. Okay, measure 50, 100 and then you can pour slowly. Especially if you do a lot of baking. Okay, because once you dah ada tepung ke kat dalam, kalau you ter over pour liquid, then susah kan nak buat keluar. Okay, so you can use this um, as your measuring cup first. Okay, and then, oh, okay. Our UFO looking <laughs> accessory, okay, this is called Baroma. Okay, so Baroma is for steaming. There are the three layers. Okay, so this is called the Baroma tray and this is called the Baroma dish. Okay, so you can put your, kalau you nak buat nasi ayam ke, okay, you have your rice dalam ni. You can put your chicken in here and then put the tray. 
you can uh, steam your eggs or you can even steam your veggie ka atas ni. Okay, so this is very useful. So you are kind of atas ni moment. Okay, so when you are steaming, you always use the baroma punya uh, function. Okay, baroma, baroma punya heating punya temperature. Okay, so other than that, you can use it as colander. Kalau you nak uh, put your salad in here and then you nak warm the air, just shake, shake, shake. Or kalau you dah boil your uh, pasta, you can just pour in here to drain it. Okay, dekat your sink. So ada banyak use lah this baroma. Very good. Kalau you have a baby, you can even sterilize your bottles in here. Okay, so your machine ni memang banyak-banyak sangat function. Okay, so you will discover as you uh, use it more lah. Okay, I'm still discovering a lot of new things to do with my thermomix. So that is the Varoma, okay. And then the mixing bowl. So our mixing bowl is a 2.2 litre punya bowl. So it can cook usually four to six people. Okay, um, and it's stainless steel, so dia tak akan serap bau. Okay, a lot of people macam, oh, kalau I buat sambal, and then after that, I nak buat lemonade ke, with my lemonade, smell like sambal. No, you won't. Okay, sebab stainless steel, dia tak serap bau. Okay, and then our blade ada two sides. One is sharp, and the other side is blood. So, macam Zaina tunjuk tadi, make sure you tekan your reverse if you are stirring, okay. Sometimes it happens, maybe the first few times you guna, you terlupa, but usually dah kena sekali tak. You, you will know to on that reverse button. Okay, and um, this blade is uh, selalu kena ada dalam if you are using. Kalau dia tak ada kat dalam, dia tak akan start. Okay, and then it's detachable. Boleh buka, boleh basuh. Okay, so it's very hygienic. Okay, so this bowl is, uh, is like macam the most important thing lah. Okay, so kalau uh, you basuh at the end of the day, just open everything and basuh betul. -betul. Okay, but last, uh, last but not least is our moto. Okay, the most interesting and wonderful thing about the mix is the moto. Okay, it's a frictionless moto. Okay, so it doesn't generate any heat. So that's why kalau you buat ice cream dengan thermomix, you letak frozen fruits dalam ni, you akan dapat ice cream. Okay, you takkan dapat melted punya uh, fruits. Okay, because the moto tak akan panas. The only thing kalau you masak, the bowl akan jadi panas but everything here Akan jadi panas. Okay, because a lot of appliances selalu cepat rosak is because they have a fan inside to cool it down. So thermomix ni tak perlu. Okay, because the, the motor is frictionless. And you can see we have a 6.8 inch punya screen. Okay, it's touch screen and colored. Okay, you can scroll to the left, to the right. Okay, just like your phone. So kids memang cepat je kalau you are the kids yang dah boleh start baca, they can use the thermomix and start cooking for you. Okay, so all the modes are here, and this is the main thing. So you just need to know the three dials. Okay, so that is Thermomix accessories. Okay, now about the price. Okay, the actual price is 7188, but now that the promotion, you get 200 ringgit rebate. Uh, so it becomes 6988. Okay, so we have installment plans, or if you want to pay full price, pun boleh, or you want to pay deposit plus installment, pun kita ada that option. Okay. So what can Thermomix do? Okay, so for me, Thermomix ni macam our smartphone. Okay, dulu kalau kita keluar, we have to bring a notepad with us, a camera. Kalau you dengar music, you have to bring your Walkman. Okay, your notepad, semua lah you kena bawa in your bag. But now, our phone is everything, betul tak? We cannot live without our phone because it has everything inside. You tak perlu dah nak bawa macam-macam gadget in your bag. So Thermomix me is like that. It's your all-in-one kitchen. You don't need to have 20 or more appliances in your home dah. Your Thermomix will be that one appliance. Okay, so I have so many things. Okay, I saw my uh, mixer. I don't use my blender anymore. I don't have my rice cooker. So my kitchen is clean and kemas. Okay, I memang suka kemas-kemas. Tak nak benda, banyak benda on my kitchen counter. Okay, so if you, especially people yang baru kahwin ke, you know, if you have a small space at home, your kitchen, this is the perfect uh, appliance for your home. Okay. All right, so it's the perfect kitchen assistant. Okay, if you are single, don't worry. If you want to have the recipe pun boleh, a lot of people yang single or living alone pun ada thermomix, okay, because it will cook you healthy meals. And you know it can help you save your time. You don't have to attend to your cooking the whole time that you are cooking. Okay, and when you are a newlywed, like I said, this is the perfect 
hantaran actually nowadays a lot of people you can see dia orang letak ni atas gula bukan dia so thermomix lah dia orang buat cake you know gambar thermomix so it's the perfect hantaran okay because kita orang-orang baru kahwin ni especially if both are working you know you don't have much time but you need to do your cooking so this is really perfect okay and when you have kids okay this can be your baby food processor okay i dulu guna yang kecil punya tu in the end i bawa keluar my pots and pans lah bawa keluar banyak benda because I want to do batch cooking. Okay, so imagine 2.2 liter. Kalau you buat half pun, you can do a huge uh, batch dah to masuk freezer. And we have tons of recipes untuk your baby or toddlers okay, in Kukidu. Okay, and our parents, grandparents, you know, they some of them, they still love to cook. Okay, but maybe don't tak larat, nak diri lama. So this one, we can duduk and masak and it's a one hand operated machine. Okay, so banyak orang yang Elderly, 60, 70 pun guna thermomix and it's so easy to use, user friendly sangat. So, um, you know, if you know anyone ke or introduce to your parents, you know, so they don't have to clean the kitchen lah lepas masak semua. It's so easy, you just need to wash one bowl je. Okay, so now, okay, uh, thank you for listening to all the explanation. Now I'm going to go to Japan with Nasra. Okay, we're going to see how she's going to cook the miso chicken noodle soup. Okay, so I'll see you again later at the end. Okay, let's go to Nasra. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nasra. Um, my IG handle is Nasra Treats. So, okay, let's start again. Watashi wa namai Nazra desu. So, that, that means um, my name is Nazra in Japanese. So, hari ni kita akan buat uh, something healthy, uh, something that is relatable to those yang uh, suffer from leaky gut or have uh, intestinal problem because we are going to make miso chicken noodle soup. Okay, the reason why it is healthy or it's good for those yang ada leaky gut is because um, one of the main ingredient used is uh, chicken broth. Okay, so as you know, chicken broth is uh, it includes collagen, which has properties that will help um, the intestinal wall to, to repair because it is anti-inflammatory. So that is a fun fact. If you have uh, intestinal problem, indigestion problem, you, could, you should try this recipe. And the best part about um, Thermomix is that kat dalam ni ada kukidu, which is the uh, recipe library, right? So if you suffer from certain types of uh, apa, uh, apa, or like you have certain types of diet, you can actually just go to Kukidu and you type, you put it at the collections, which is like their e recipe uh, recipe book. You just type um, if you are suffering from the key gut, you, you type just uh, gut health or uh, you want a diet that has no egg. You can even uh, opt, uh, apa, opt out their ingredients egg. You can just put a uh, without egg. Or if you have, uh, you suffer from eczema, you have certain types of diet, you can just type it out the cat filter too. And then you will get lots of recipe that is already filtered to cater to your diet. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. We are going to make a chicken noodle, uh, chicken noodle soup, a miso chicken noodle soup. This is a Japanese dish. Okay, first thing first, um, it is going to ask you to boil noodles separately. So I have done that in my other Thermomix Zegat kitchen. So you can choose any types of noodle. You believe in the ramen, you can use udon, or you can use those egg noodles, any type of noodles of your choice, whatever that you have at home. And then the best part about this recipe, the ingredients sangat sangat simple, sangat senang. I will show you later, sangat sikit je dia punya recipe. So I have um, cooked aside 200 grams of noodle. I will show you later. Okay, so now we are going to chop uh, ginger. So your ginger, you don't have to chop, uh, what? Terlalu halus pun, because you're, it's going to chop it for you. You just, in chunks pun tak apa. So we're going to chop this for only 3 seconds. 20 grams of fresh ginger. Okay. Alright. So only for 3 seconds. Alright, so that is done. Scrape down your ginger using a spatula. Yeah, as you explained tadi. So this spatula is very useful in all your cooking. And the best part about this spatula, the other the base, okay, whichever side that you turn, it can touch your kitchen top, so it will not get dirty. Okay, so that's the fun fact about spatula. When they created this machine, they thought of uh, all the accessories to be multifunctional. So that's the best part about the mixer. Okay. So once that is done, kita akan add 
uh, shiro miso, so, uh, sorry, shiro paste. So this is shiro paste. There's white shiro paste and there's uh, brown or dark shiro paste, you guys. So we're using white shiro paste. You can just Google, uh, you can just uh, apa, pergi Shopee or Lazada if you don't know where to get it. Or one of those young Japanese store yang jual uh, Japanese ingredients, you can just simply get it, okay? All right, so now we are going to put 50 grams of miso paste. This miso paste boleh tahan sangat lama in the fridge. I've had it for months and uh, masih okay, but make sure your your chiller punya temperature is low lah. Okay. Alright. And then, uh, 40 grams of tamari. Tamari is a Japanese soy sauce, but I'm not using tamari. I will use um, light soy sauce. So, 40 grams of light soy sauce. Or if you have tamari, you can just add it. The reason why I don't put tamari is about I don't cook uh, Japanese a lot sangat kan. So, bazi if I uh, beli tamari. Okay, so that's 40 gram. And then we are going to add, oh no, okay, sorry. First we are going to, hold on. Okay. Sorry, uh, 100, uh, 1,000 gram of, sorry, 1,000 gram of chicken stock, uh, uh, chicken broth. So this is the ingredient that will help you to repair your intestinal walls, okay? As I mentioned you know, just now, because it has um, uh, collagen that will help with the anti-inflammatory. Okay. So just add 100, um, sorry, 1,000 gram of uh, chicken broth. You can make your chicken broth on your own with the mix, or you can just get it in one, one box, your Heinz too, your halal version too, your Heinz too, is um, num num enough. But you can also make your own uh, chicken broth. It's very easy because we have a slow cook mode. You can just put in your chicken feet at dalam to use chicken feet lah because uh, that's where all the collagen comes from. So all you have to do is just select, um, you can add uh, chicken chicken stock and then put it on slow cook mode and leave it to cook for hours. The maximum that this thermomix can cook is eight hours. So that is the best part about slow cook mode. Okay, so now I'm going to leave this. Okay, supposedly I'm going to leave this to cook for 10 minutes because I now um, cepatkan the process. I've actually Cook this separately dengan my other bowl because dia ada beberapa step so just nak cepatkan. Ni I have, I dah masak the soup just now, okay. So imagine this is 10 minutes later. Okay, we're going to proceed with adding uh, chicken. Okay, you can use uh, chicken fillet, chicken tenderloin or uh, any parts of chicken yang, yang berisi, okay. So we are going to add chicken now. So 500 grams of chicken. Okay, so I ambil uh, chicken fillet because later on, this chicken fillet lepas di rebus for about 8 minutes, I have to cari-carikan uh, the ayam untuk letak as the condiment on top. So you better choose ayam yang uh, berisi lah. Okay, so we're going to put all of this. And I can let it, uh, let it to cook for 8 minutes. Alright. So while that is going on, I'll just, I'm just going to explain to you about kneading function and also multi-layer function, okay? This recipe is, is very, very easy. Um, and like I said lah, the ingredients are banyak. For the, the start tadi tu, you just need ginger, uh, miso paste, uh, chicken stock, and also tamari, which is the soy sauce. Okay, that's all. And then you add in chicken, okay? So, now I'm going to explain to you a little bit about uh, the kneading function. Okay, the kneading function is, is one of the, the most favorite one among upper thermomics users because have you ever imagined you can make your own bread at home? Okay, all this gardenia, you know that gardenia sekarang dah naik price, right? So imagine if you have thermomics, you don't even have to worry about the increase of price because you can make it so effortlessly because the kneading function here works as well as traditional kneading because it imitates the uh, the way kita knead traditionally, right? It imitates exactly the same way, but it's better because it has its own timing and they tahu when is the dough ready ataupun dah enough for kneading. Because uh, I made dough traditionally, I mean, not without thermomix, susah nak detect whether your dough is ready or not ataupun whether you have, uh, you terlalu knead it too much ataupun 
you tak need it enough. But with Thermomix, every bread that you make, it will work. Especially if you go to Cookie Do, if you search for bread recipes, there are thousands of bread recipes that you can try. Okay. On top of that, with this kneading function, you can also make your own fish ball at home. I made it myself. And it's really, really healthy because you use fresh tenggiri punya uh, isi and you know that there's no preservative, there's no MSG and there's no worry at all when you are feeding your family members, okay? Because I have a son, I have a toddler and I want to know what, what ingredients are included in his cooking. So making fish ball at home is now uh, possible. I've never thought of making my own fish ball so, and it's really easy, okay? Um, you can also make your own mantau. Uh, kneading mantau is very fast. It only takes two minutes to knead your mantau and it comes out always perfectly. Uh, the shape, the texture, the, uh, the the dough will be perfect because uh, like I mentioned, they, the cookie dough memang does preset everything for you, the timing and all you have to do is just press next, okay? And last but not least, you can also make your own pasta. Did you know that you, you tak payah beli dah all this, uh, your spaghetti, your fettuccine and all that. You can make it at home. Okay, with this kneading function, it's very much possible to make your own pasta. You can even make your own lasagna sheets. It's very easy. Once you're done with the kneading, you just have to roll it and then you cut it into the apa, lasagna sheet punya size. And that's about it really. And then you can just straight away cook your pasta. Okay, so that's a kneading function. And I'm going to also talk about uh, multi-layer uh, multi -layer function because after this, I'm going to use multi-layer function. Okay, multi-layer, multi-layer punya mode. You will need to place this uh, varoma dish on top. The ke atas ni. You have to just take out this uh, measuring cup, and then you place it on top. So later, I'm going to steam my um, veggies while while my chicken is cooking. Nanti, uh, I will have, I will need to steam my veggies. I got cabbage and also cabbage and also my uh, pak choy. Okay, so. Now, today is the last day that you can get a uh, Varoma series, punya, premium series in your accessories. It, as we will explain a little bit more later. Um, so one of the one of the games that is included in the latest uh, Varoma punya series is that uh, is this tree bed. Okay, so this tree bed is very useful. You can place it to, uh, uh, you can place any ingredients like right now I'm placing cabbage or you can place a whole siaka or any type of fish on top. Okay, and uh, while you are steaming, you have something else cooking at the bottom. So you get like beberapa benda, uh, beberapa uh, masakan, uh, beberapa ingredients happening at the same time. So for example, if you're making uh, chicken rice, you can make, you can, well, uh, you can make soup here and then you got your uh, rice made from your, uh, the, your simmering basket on the second layer and then you can steam your chicken and also your veggies on top. So four dishes done at one time. And also, macam kalau uh, you nak cepat kan, you can make a uh, mihari, you can make the kuah, and at the same time, you can cook your noodles, you can uh, steam your veggies on top. All effortlessly done in just 20 to 30 minutes. All your cooking, um, macam on my busy days, because I have a toddler and I'm a working mom, so sometimes when I come home, I tak ada time, I will just panaskan makanan dia. So I'll make like chicken soup for my husband and I at the bottom, and then at the same time, I am steaming his food because I, I usually freeze his food. So, dalam masa 20 minit, both of our food is for adults and anak is done. Okay, so that's the best part about multi-layer cooking. So, uh, I've got three minutes left. Later, I'm going to steam this. I'm going to steam this on top. And then, once this is done, once the steaming is done, I will need to add uh, my mushroom, shiitake mushroom and inoki mushrooms. If you don't like mushroom pun, it's okay, you can opt it up. And... That's about it really. That's it. I, I will show you how I will garnish with the pak choy and the chicken and everything. So that's all for me. I'm going to pass to Riva uh, to continue her cooking pula. Thank you. Hola. Uh, hari ni, hari ba, hari ni I akan buat um, taco udang. Uh, prawn tacos. Senang je nak buat. Um, I akan cerita uh, lepas. Uh, lepas saya masukkan ingredients dulu pasal thermomix uh, so uh, first ingredient actually um, resepi ni I tambah-tambah sendiri uh, now cookie dough um, previously dia ada cookie dough memang ada 72,000 recipes but now dia ada added features kita boleh masuk resepi kita sendiri uh, sampai 
seratus resipi. So this one, I uh, dah key in my recipe. So kita boleh just um, key in dari, dari komputer ke, uh, tablet ke, phone ke. Kita just, okay. kita just key in je, senang. So I dah tekan cooking. Kat sini dah tulis dah, tulis dah. ingredients dia paprika. This is paprika, salt, uh, thyme, lepas tu uh, garlic. Satu garlic je. And kat sini siap-siap dah. Uh, dia kata I dah key in dah dalam uh, resipi tu 25 gram uh, juice uh, pineapple. So kat sini I masukkan dulu ingredients dia. Ini juice pineapple. So, 25 gram dengan cuka putih. Cuka putih dalam 20 gram. Lepas tu kita terus um, blend untuk 20 saat dengan speed tan. So, bila kita dah key in dalam tu dekat uh, screen tu dia memang ada dah siap highlight dah untuk berapa speed um, temperature semua so kita touch dia memang automatic dah terus keluar 20 saat and kita spin saja knock sampai 10 uh, speed <tuh> Dah blend habis dah. This one kita akan tambah uh, later dengan uh, udang ya. Okay, next uh, kita tambahkan um, bawang. Bawang ni dalam uh, 100 setengah gram. And also masukkan um, minyak. So um, kalau you tak nak, um, kalau you tak nak um, chop dulu, you boleh chop terus dalam ni. Lepas chop dalam ni, uh, you boleh uh, saute. Tapi I dah um, chop siap-siap. So I akan terus saute. Um, saute tu macam kita tumis sikit kan. Kita bagi dalam tujuh minit. And reverse blade. Uh, temperature 120 Celsius. Speed 1. So biar je kat situ. Um, I dulu, I I dari user, kemudian I jadi advisor. So sebagai user, I macam senang hati I sebab dia memudahkan kerja I. I tak payah lama kat dapur, I boleh tinggal je, I boleh multitask. Um, macam menu hari ni, I nak buat uh, taco uh, udang. So bahan-bahan dia yang I perlu is uh, taco shell. Taco shell ni boleh beli dekat mana-mana uh, grocer je. Okay, um, lepas tu I perlukan um, pineapple. Nanti pineapple ni anugerah saya akan masak dengan udang. I tak jumpa udang besar kecil. I pakai udang besar je tapi I potong kecil-kecil lah sebab senang nak slot in dalam tacos ni. Kalau lepas tu for garnish, garnishing. Um, I pakai avocado. Avocado ni kalau nak tahu yang dah masak pilih yang um, gelap macam ni. Kalau hijau macam ni masih belum masak. Okay. Okay. 
kemudian uh, bila dah habis uh, masak udang semua nanti you pakailah uh, red cabbage dengan um, salad dan juga daun ketumbar lepas tu yang ni avocado I potong siap-siap pun nanti I akan slot in dalam taco community so, pasal thermomix ni um, I suka sebab I boleh multitask kan. Lepas tu um, parents I memang duduk rumah dekat je. Uh, every weekend I akan memang um, bagi my parents um, one bottle of uh, lemonade. Sebab lem parents I suka lemonade. Tapi I tak letak gula lah. It's just fresh uh, lemon saja. Um, Lagipun um, sebab um, Thermomix ni dia punya turbo blade dia Uh, blade dia kalau um, turbo speed dia punya laju tu 270 km per hour dia macam very fast and bila you um, blend uh, gula batu dia akan macam jadi bila you habis blend je dia akan jadi very powdery punya gula lah macam gula kasta macam tu kan lepas tu um, macam you nak buat ABC ke, Binsu ke uh, You just masuk air batu je Nanti dia akan blend ke bumut Nanti dia akan jadi macam powdery snow Sebab macam kita punya bowl ni Dia teknologi dia uh, you nampak tiga line ni kan Satu, dua, tiga kat belakang ni Ada tiga line So bila you Uh, mod turbo ataupun bila you blend apa-apa dia punya um, texture, dia punya spin tu dia macam dia akan naik, dia akan turun, dia akan selalu turun dia blend naik, lepas tu dia turun sebab tu dia macam uh, sekata aja semua dia bukan bukan ada macam keras, ada 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 yang tak blend, ada yang blend dia, tak, dia macam senang dia blend semua So, um, nah lagi I nak cerita pasal um, penimbang Dia macam ready, uh, ready built in uh, penimbang Dia macam tepat You just uh, buka um, um, mix up cup ni You just letak you punya bowl and you timbang Dia macam Precise sangat sampai satu gram pun memang dia tahu Mungkin okay, kalau you pakai uh, cookie dough uh, You just follow je instruction Dia kata tambah 10 gram So macam you just tambah je masuk dalam bowl Senang macam tu Okay um, Lepas tu sekarang uh, cookie, uh, Macam cookie dough uh, Cookie dough ni memang memudahkan kita Sebab semua benda cookie dough kita boleh access dalam phone So sambil-sambil kita tengok phone, kita tengok resepi dan kita key in terus save dalam um, apa? Dalam uh, dalam kita punya account and dia akan sync terus masuk dalam kita punya um, thermomix So um, dalam cookie dough dia macam ada 75 ribu resepi Lepas tu tambah lagi uh, kita ada community resepi yang tu dalam 8 ribu Lepas tu tambah lagi you punya own recipe yang boleh save dalam Thermomix ni dalam uh, cookie dough account you dalam 100, 100, 100. So macam dia macam effortless cooking yang limitless. You macam boleh buat apa-apa je yang you nak. Um, you nak buat um, apa chicken stock boleh, you nak buat jam boleh, apa-apa je. You macam you tak payah pergi fikir benda tu uh, jadi ke tak jadi ke sebab mesti jadi provided kalau you follow instruction betul-betul lah kalau you macam dah hakar resepi uh, kuranglah sikit jadi dia kan so um, next one is oh kita ada satu minit lagi um, I I selalu memang I suka to more mix ni pasal I tak payah basuh banyak macam kat situ lah blend kat situ lah potong kat situ lah you tumis, you masak lepas tu you yang tu je sebab kalau kita macam kalau you nak buat ibu sambal pun boleh tau tak semestinya orang kata tak pecah minyak ke, ke semua. memang boleh pecah minyak you just 
perlukan um, um, timing yang betul je. Okay. Um, macam I sibuk, memang sibuk. Um, tak, bukan buat-buat sibuk eh. <laughs> so macam I memang rushing sebab timing rumah I tujuh setengah malam mesti dinner lah. Dinner must be served on the table pukul tujuh setengah malam. So I masuk dapur pukul enam empat puluh lima, pukul tujuh tu sempat lagi keluar dinner. Um, our group um, Glamour Mix uh, memang ada on top of cookie dough semua tu kita ada lagi satu library uh, on our own team ada apa uh, macam-macam resepi dalam tu ada yang dalam team kita suka convert resepi um, apa cek non ah uh, yang tu pun tu masuk sejak eh so yang ni kita dah tumis Siap tumis dah, dia tak hancur lah kan? Tak, tu tak hangus. So now kita akan tambah udang. Um, nenas. Dengan sos tadi yang kita blend. Dan biar je masak. Nanti dia habis masak dia panggil kita lah. Lepas tu nanti kita akan um, dah siap masak. Kita akan pakai balik taco shells tu. Kita insert um, salad semua tu. And on top of that kita letak um, udang. Okay. Um, so uh, I pass dekat kat. Yuhu! Dah bangun ke belum? Yuhu! Yuhu! Kat! Alu! How are you? Ah. Hello everybody, thank you for joining today. Tadi Ezri kata I would be um, using the Scottish accent kan? Tapi I rasa kalau I do that today, I don't think um, korang boleh pick up sangat lah sebab accent dia pelik sangat. Kalau korang pernah watch movie Braveheart, it's something like that. Okay, tapi today I am just so glad to show with you one of my favorite Scottish punya recipes. It's called the cauliflower cheese soup. Dulu-dulu memang my family made it for us as a child kat sana. Um, back then I was always wondering macam kenapa lah benda ni kena be from a vegetable, macam cauliflower, macam tak ada ke benda lain. And sooner later on as I realized, I appreciate because cauliflower is something yang is really healthy. It's got its carbs, a bit uh, fiber together, you know, and it's gonna um, control your weight if you are trying to lose weight or if you're on a diet, following a keto diet. Ke. So using cauliflower ni macam mimics um, the use of uh, flour or gandum. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna do this. Okay, so olive oil, yeah, I don't waste it. Siap, kalau uh, you all buat nanti, of course. You can weigh it on your own. And I suka sangat use the mix ni because everything is installed in this one machine. Macam you're weighing it and then you're blending it. Lepas you tumis, you masak. Lepas tu kalau you nak kena get the right consistency, macam pakai the hand mixer, you can do this too. Darling, can you just um slow down the TV please? Okay. So lepas olive oil, I'm going to add our onions and our garlic together. Kalau dulu, I nak buat soup macam ni, oh my god, I will need a blender. Lepas tu, I nak kena tumis on the stove. After tumis on the stove, kita masukkan pula dalam another blender untuk nak hand mix dia. Ya Allah, banyaknya benda yang I nak kena cuci dulu, dulu you know. So, I'm just so glad that I bought this and I'm able to um, prepare healthy ingredients, healthy meals for my, for my uh, family. Okay. And everything that pre-prepared for you, the menu semua dah ada, you can follow. Settle. Blending dah siap. Okay, we're just going to scrape this down and then kita akan add our cauliflower lepas ni. So cauliflower tu tadi, maybe I tak uh, cerita banyak sangat about it. Kalau you are on a special diet whereby you nak um, reduce your weight. Cauliflower is actually one of the best food which mimics your rice. 
ataupun um, traditional soups yang kita pakai dengan flour because it's very um, gooey tau sebab carb consistency dia tu banyak so it's gooey so our brain rasa macam we are actually enjoying like a good meal a good a hearty soup or good bowl of rice padahal you're actually having fiber which is from the cauliflower which is amazing and soup ni sangat sangat sedap Okay, so now you got saute dah. So, daripada tadi, you all nampak I masukkan everything, kita blend and kita saute. Jadi, um, bila kita buat everything in thermomix ni, kita akan ada ample time. Especially myself when I am so, so busy kan. Lepas tu, kalau um, you all tahu, I share on my Instagram baru ni, my maid balik kampung and never return without telling us. So, I cannot imagine what would life be without a maid. Tapi, I still have to do the cleaning up and then the chopping and the uh, washing up, you know, and prepping up everything apa semua. Tapi, Alhamdulillah, I have been okay so far. So, investing in a thermomix is the best thing that I've done for a long time, in a long, long time, you know. So, sekarang, I tak, tak ada rasa stress. Alhamdulillah, I have not felt any stress whatsoever daripada dia um, Bali and did not show up because I was still able to prepare after such as my kids now and I've got three children one of them is a special child um, he's autistic so for autistic children I can prepare something um, slightly different for him you know because this could be young a crispy sikit you know like uh, ayam goreng ke, or it can be a story which I'm able to do in the thermal mix I don't have to like uh, pergi ambil kuali masukkan oil deep fry yang itu pula lepas tu prepare lunch yang lain pula or other meals for my other family members everybody is able to enjoy everything made in the thermal mix so alhamdulillah sangat sangat and I am able to make something for myself because I put um, I'm, I'm on, on a special um, sort of a diet. I'm trying to cut down my carbs. So cauliflower soup is one of it yang I use to replenish uh, my soft drink in between the day, okay? in between um, going through the day. Though. So I try not to uh, make nasi banyak sangat. Although masak nasi with the mix ni is really good because you reduce the amount of sugar and carbs in the rice itself. It's just that I wanted to go on a more high fiber diet lah kan. Right? And um, soups ni, uh, making soups, how to create flavor is to add broth kan. Right? So kalau dulu-dulu, I would never imagine that I would be able to make my own chicken broth or my own vegetable broth. But with Thermomix, I am able to and I have made it, you know. So that I not believe. Kalau dulu, I rasa whatever that needs um, vegetable flavor or chicken flavor too, for sure, I can uh, just pakai the granules je lah and then mix with water and all that or probably go and buy something at the supermarket. But with Thermomix, I'm able to do things the healthy way from my family and I'm so proud and it makes my investment too worthwhile. Okay, a little bit more to go. Yeah? After kita dah sorti nanti, we're going to add the cauliflower. Kalau you nak suka cauliflower, if it seems a bit tasteless to you, it's okay. You will choose any other fire, um, any other um, vegetable yang contains high carbs, like pumpkin, ke, you know. Um, you can even use cabbage so, or carrots because you're going to blend everything and then it's going to saute itself for you. So, you can use whatever you And using thermomix, so you can use all sorts of um, things and you can get consistency yang berbeza. You can make your own yogurt. Tadi, in the beginning, tadi, um, Zarina ada mention, okay, you can make your own yogurt. I've made ice creams, macam-macam ice creams, macam-macam sorbets. You can make your jam, you can make your kaya, your soups. Well, you can have your regular um, soup yang um, watery sikit, macam kita biasa makan dengan nasi. You can have these um, thickened soup, tanpa at flour or any other fillers in it. But just by using Thermomix itself, and dia akan help you organize your food for you. All the recipes ada banyak sangat-sangat dalam Kiki Duni, you know. Tapi dalam team Glamour Mix, I'm just so blessed to be with them. Sebab selain daripada Kiki Duni itself, eh, siap dah pun. Selain daripada Kiki Duni itself, you also have another a bunch of recipes, tons of recipes um, done by the group itself for you. Okay, so now we shall add the cauliflower. This is about 750 grams of cauliflower, okay. Nampak macam banyak sangat kan? 
but I tak pernah risau because I know Thermomix can just blend everything for you. Okay. <coughs> oh, vegetable salt with both. I'm so proud of this. I'm so proud of this. So I don't miss it, yet, okay? All right. And then we're going to add a bit of salt. Dekat sini jangan banyak sangat because later on you're going to add your cheese. Your cheese that add the, um, it's all your own salt, kan, kat dalam tu. And then black pepper, this the extra, black pepper. Oh yeah, black pepper, kalau you tak ada yang macam ni, you have yang biji-biji uh, tu pun, it's okay. You can actually grind it in your Thermomix, amazing. Apa benda yang Thermomix tak boleh buat, semuanya boleh. Okay. And then speed five, there, chopping. Okay, get the check, eh? Get the check. There, I am so glad. Okay, so I'm gonna add my bay leaf right now. Okay, and mix it in. So, lepas ni, lepas I add the bay leaf, I'm just gonna add um, milk, then cheese, and then it should be done after that. So, benda ni buat sangat-sangat simple, sangat cepat. So, for now, I, I rasa I should pass it back to Israel. Later on, I can tunjuk how it looks like once it's ready. Okay, back to you, Israel. Okay, thanks, Kat. Okay, Vesnia, I cannot wait to see the soup and all the rest of the dishes. Okay, so before we end, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the benefits of cooking with Thermomix. Okay, so you dah nampak the four chef of the day today masak. Okay, everything is quick and easy. Okay, easy sebab kita ada cookie dough to help you quick. Kalau you nak buat drinks, today kita tak ada drinks punya recipe. Tapi if you have Thermomix and you haven't tried, you have to try our drinks. Okay, or when you get your Thermomix, you have to do our lemonade, which is six seconds. Kalau you buat smoothie, it takes only one minute. Okay, so nasa. So, kalau you had a guest coming over to your house, tak payah dah serve all those carbonated drinks, tak payah nak beli kotak punya drinks dah. You can make everything from scratch in just a few seconds or just one minute. Okay, and we, oh, Thermomix can also let everybody cook. Okay, so kalau you tak tahu masak, okay, it's not an excuse anymore. We have cookie dough to assist you. Okay, and kalau you ada anak yang dah boleh start baca, can also help. They love to help my son. He's four years old, dia tak boleh baca lagi. But dia suka sangat tolong. Okay, kalau dengar bunyi, dia nak tekan stop lah. Kalau nak, dia nak tekan the next semua. Okay, they always want to help you. So get them involved. You know, uh, buatlah cookies ke with them. Okay, you can make macam-macam um, lah recipes yang you can do bonding time with your kids. Okay, and it's healthy. Okay, because when we cook with Thermomix, kita guna low temperature. Okay, usually 120 degrees. Okay, it's considered low temperature because you get to retain uh, your nutrients. Okay, you're not overburning the oil, you're not overburning your ingredients. So you get to absorb everything that you buy. Okay, especially if you buy organic ingredients. Okay, it's so important uh, the way you cook your ingredients. Okay, and we have auto cooking and auto washing. Okay, so auto cooking means macam all of them tadi masak masak while talking to you. They don't have to stir, you know. They don't have to check. Ke, you know, they don't have to worry. Kalau kita tak buat show macam ni, I will just usually leave in my masak. I will just go and uh, attend to my kids or go do something else and then come back and continue. Okay, and it's space saving. Okay, so you don't need all your other appliances anymore, you boleh sedekah ke, you boleh jual ke, okay, so all you need is just one, some people have two Thermomix because it represents your stove, okay, so you boleh masak more, lagi like cepat, okay, kalau you ada big family, you can consider to have two pun, kalau you nak, okay, but usually, kalau you ada enam orang, tujuh pun still, satu Thermomix cukup dah, okay, and then goodbye to cooking fumes, okay, so you notice kalau you masak dekat traditional kitchen tu, you always see smoke ke, and then you punya hot tu selalu kena bersihkan okay, banyak oil semua that is all fumes okay so you will not get that with thermomix okay what you get is vapor saja so you can cook anywhere in the house you nak masak kat living room ke if you need to cook in your room ke it's okay okay you akan bau sedap kejap 
And then after that, it's gone. You know, the smell is not going to stick on your baju, your tudung, your furniture, your curtains. You know, can have all that when you cook with the mix. Okay, so the price again okay, is six nine eight eight. Okay, so we have installment plans up to twenty four months. Okay, you can take as low as six months to twenty four months, and we have a few major credit cards that you can use, or we also have the option of doing deposit last installment okay that one we have an uh, option for debit card color you only have debit card okay so now if you pay uh if you pay full payment via cash you can a thermal server okay worth 360 ringgit sorry i double not you okay so thermal server ni is something that can keep your food warm and cold for a few hours so let's say like you dah masak soup okay macam cat Okay, and then after that, you nak masak nasi ke apa. So, you can actually pour the soup in the thermal server, keep it warm while you cook something else. So that, you know, it, by the time you nak makan, it's still warm and nice. Okay, so that one is if you pay cash, okay, via bank transfer, or you buy a you know, credit card or debit card for full payment, you can dapat a cookbook. Okay, one pot wonder, which is 160 ringgit. Okay, and for, the, for all payment terms, when you buy and then you post a demo, Okay, host a demo means you invite at least three friends to come and see our Zoom demo much of me. Or you can invite us to go to your house to do demo for you and your friends. We we'll consider as hosting juga. juga. And you can claim this awesome prize. Okay, so it's called the Varoma series. Okay, premium series. You cannot get this in Malaysia. Okay, this is fully imported from Australia. Even if you go to the website, the mix. To when you Australia on your website, you cannot buy a set much like you have to buy things individually. Okay, so this is really awesome premium. You cannot get it on your own. Okay, so what is inside kita ada enam barang. Okay, so I say I'm not buka ni tapi ya, I show you <laughs> one by one. Okay, so we have the trivet. Okay, so this one is good if you nak letak dekat dalam your baroma. So let's say lah you nak uh, steam your cake. Okay, let's say you don't have an oven, you want to steam your marble cake or your banana cake. Okay, so if you have a round pan, because by right, when you use the Varoma, you want at least 20% of the holes are not covered. Okay, so trivet is the, the best tool for to elevate your, your pan tool so that you can steam properly. Okay, so trivet is like this. So this is very high quality, very solid. Kita you pegang, it's actually berat and nice. Okay, so we have trivet. Then we have the round muffin mold. Okay, so this one also for our varoma. Okay, you can put it inside the varoma. Okay, so kalau you nak masuk dalam oven pun boleh juga. Okay, so all these two yang rectangle ni pun you boleh masuk dalam oven sekali. So this one you can fit the atas. Okay, so it fits perfectly in your varoma. So you want to get all these accessories. It's really designed for using it with the Varoma. Okay, so this one pun boleh masuk dalam oven sekali. And then we have the Varoma steaming tray. Okay, so this one I memang guna all the time because I love to steam to fish and makan dengan rice. So this is very high quality. Ada tulis thermomix kat belakang. Okay, very, very nice. So this one also to fit on the tray macam ni. Okay, perfect size. It's 30 cm. It fits perfectly on the tray. Okay. Then the last two, okay, so we have this thing untuk guna for the tray juga. Okay, so kalau let's say lah you tak ada the tray ke or you don't want to use the tray, you can use this um, paper ni. Satu dia tak ada lubang, okay. okay ni, and then the other one has holes, okay, vented. Okay, so kalau let's say you nak steam your pau ke, you nak, nak steam your ikan pun boleh just cover this with this uh, paper. And then this one, kalau you nak guna untuk pau ke, benda-benda macam roti ke, you boleh steam atas ni. And it's actually reusable. Okay, so you can use it all the time before you throw it. So one bag ni ada 24 sheets. So you get 48, okay, for both. So this is really awesome. So you get all these six things. Okay, let me show you again. So we have the two baking paper. Okay, and then we have the rectangle punya muffin tray and then the round one okay and then we have the steaming and also the trivet okay so you get all this as your gift okay if you buy until today sahaja so today is the last day to redeem 
to buy and also get this gift. Okay, so please ask your advisor how to get your thermomix so we can help you put your order in. Okay, so today is the last day. Make sure you order your thermomix. Okay, and now we deliver in three working days. Ages. So today Sunday, kalau you order, inshallah Wednesday, dah dapat dah. Some people within two working days pun dapat dah. Uh, depends where you live. Okay, and yeah. Right. So, other than that, you also get the basic cookbook. Okay, so other than the accessories, thermomix, you also get basic cookbook. Me, okay, this is really best, best on that because you have all the basic um, recipes that you want to know, like stir fried veggies, you either your pie, or you have what ice cream, okay, and kalau you vegetarian pun ada juga dalam ni. And then at the back of the book okay it has all the guides kalau you nak macam chop ke you nak steam it will tell you how much ingredient to use uh, what is the correct speed and also what is the temperature okay kalau it involves cooking lah okay but if not macam grinding milling semua dia akan bagi beberapa saat untuk guna so this book is sangat sangat useful and whatever recipe is in this book has also been digitalized so when you get your thermomix kalau you check under my recipes Safe collection, they had a collection in that's called basic cookbook. Okay, all the recipes that you see in this book is also already in here, so you can start cooking immediately using the cookie do the function. Okay, so that's our book that you can get sekali. Okay, and we also have cooking classes, much like this, this class today. Every weekend we have another show. So even on Sunday, uh, Saturday, we start them at four o'clock. Uh, actually, from next week onwards, it's 10.30 in the morning. So, Saturday and Sunday, we have the two shows, 10.30 in the morning. Okay, so you can watch every week, kita akan tukar all the recipes. Okay, and then we deliver all over Malaysia for free. We can do unboxing with you virtually, if you're not comfortable for us to go to your house. Or, kalau okay, we can also go and unbox with you at your house. Okay? And then you get two-year warranty against any manufacturing defects. Okay, so if you like what you see today, kalau you rasa macam you want to join as an advisor like me and the rest of the chefs today and make some extra side pocket, okay, really good one as well. Okay, do let us know. It's very flexible. Okay, it's really best but you get to learn all about the machine and recipes. Okay, we have new functions coming up from time to time. It's so best to learn everything about thermomix. Lah. Okay, it's, and you get to meet like-minded people like us, give you a very fun bunch. If you're interested, let us know. So now do you not join? If you already have a Thermomix 268 ringgit, okay, you get the starter kit that has a cookbook, okay, you get an apron, you dapat a mat, okay, our Thermomat too is 190 ringgit. So you buy a 268, it's just a bit more, you get so many items and you get to be part of the team, okay? Alright, so who would you recommend Thermomix to? So, if you wonder who to invite friends to watch our show, maybe you can invite friends who don't know how to cook. Okay, if they want to learn how to cook, they run a bunch of cookbooks at home. Tapi nak buka cookbook tu, you get macam takut. Okay, what is medium fire? What is low fire? You nak buat sendiri pun. And then all these ingredients yang you don't know what to get. Okay, kalau you tengok Thermomix ni recipes ingredients are very straightforward things that you can get at. Jaya grocer, senang nak dapat kat sini. Okay, very easy uh, to cook. And then friends who are very busy, okay, always ordering food, panda or grab food. I'm sure you have friends yang macam ni, okay. People who are always ordering outside food, okay. So, bukan diorang tak tahu masak, they know how to cook but they are very busy people. So, Thermomix can really help with that, okay. I have a lot of people yang waktu MCO the past two years who are so thankful when they have their thermomix because they have to cook and also attend to the kids and also work. Okay, so you can letak tak campak-campak and then you can go back to your work and then attend to it once it's done. Okay, and one more maybe people who have kids. Okay, of course we want the best for our kids. Then, kalau boleh kita nak minimize all outside food from uh, feeding them okay, because we don't know what's inside, all the preservatives lah, the sugar, macam-macam coloring, okay, so you want to control what they eat, so you can make everything from ice cream to apa-apa lah yang dia suka makan. Okay, my kids dulu tak ada like into veggies sangat, tapi when you cook veggies with thermomix, you get, you get this sweetness out of the veggies. Okay, so my kids nak boleh ratah macam tu je. It's a very nice sight to see lah as a mom kan. And then when they say that they love the food semua, because last time pun I didn't really cook, okay, because I... I just find it so much banyak kerja nak basuh lah, nak prepare semua. Tapi with Thermomix, I jadi macam um, 
I macam look forward to cook every day because there's so many recipes to cook and I know my kids will love the food. Okay, so if you have friends macam ni, do invite them over or let them know about Thermomix and we can put it there for them. Okay, so before we end the show, I will pass the screen around. So we're going to start with uh, Zarina. Okay, tengok dia dah siap tak her food. Okay, I think dah siap dah. Let me pass to her. Okay, can you see? Okay, that's my rice, the nasi arab, the salsa sauce, and the ah. lamb tadi. Yes, yeah. go over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so very easy to do. Okay, senang sangat guna rice cooker mode, and yeah, this is my first time doing it. So contact your advisors today. Thank you. Okay, thanks Arena. Now we will go to Natra. Okay. Hi everyone. Okay, can you see this noodle? Okay, so this noodle, while I was making the soup tadi, I managed to um, cook the chicken and then shred it. At the same time, I managed to steep my veggies at the same time. Okay, and before that, I dah masak the noodles using the simmering basket. All you have to do is just boil the water for 10 minutes at 100 degrees. And then you add a uh, simmering basket. If uh, banyak, you don't use a simmering basket. But I only cook for uh, berapa tiga orang je. So I can fit into simmering basket and put it in. Dalam 8 to 9, at uh, 8 to 10 minutes, your noodle is done. So that's about it really. Kalau you're a busy mom, this is the perfect appliance. Because while this was going on, I was doing other things. I was cleaning my dishes. So get your thermal mix and you can explore other cuisines other than just your usual Malay cuisine. So I've, I've made uh, Japanese today and it's very much possible for you too. Okay, so we will go to Kat. Thanks, Nasra. Wow. Okay, this is mine. Can you see that? So it looks good. It tastes good. So I hope all of you are going to give it a try as well, okay? Um, my kids love to use this cheese sticks into dip. So one of the healthiest soups that you can make with your thermal mix and sangat sangat sedap. Okay. Okay, kita. We will go to Riva. Okay. Of course, dear. All right. I just siap dah. Uh, wow. I just got uh, cabbage. Tadi dengan bread. Uh, cabbage. Um, avocado pun ada. Uh, ini udang yang kita masak tadi dengan pineapple. So, uh, senang saja nak buat 10 minutes. Cuma ambil masa 10 minutes saja untuk masak. Makan dia 2 minit je kan? Tapi tak penat sebab after less cooking. <laughs> okay, thank you ladies. So, um, everyone, your advisors will contact you, okay, to get your order in today. Today is the last day to get all the awesome gifts. Okay, thank you for joining us and we'll see you again inshallah next week. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Bye. 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 <laughs>